Join me in this video to learn about combo boxes or drop down list boxes and adding them to an access form. While designing your form, you would most likely be adding some controls. Knowing how users will be working with the controls can be useful in deciding which control works best for a data type. The gallery of controls available in Microsoft Access 2010 offers you several options for both client and web forms such as the bound, unbound, or calculated control. We'll be taking a look at one type of bound control in this video. Bound controls are used to display data stored in access tables, queries, or value lists. There are several types of bound controls, but let's focus now on the basics of creating just one kind of bound control called the combo box or the drop-down list control. Adding a drop-down list box to your forms or reports can be useful when you want to use less space on your object because the values in a drop-down list are not displayed until the user opens it to select a value. Sometimes the use of drop-down list box or a combo box as an interchangeable terminology might be confusing to someone new to access. A drop-down list box is usually called a combo box because a combo box is a combination of a text box and a drop-down list box. Unlike a list box, users get to choose only one value from a drop-down list. Now let's add a combo box to this form. I'll be adding the control here under Payment Information tab to show the payment type. You can add the control from either a design view or layout, and I'll select the layout. On the design tab in the control group, click the control box, combo box, and locate it on the form. And the combo box wizard can help you with, uh, you can also do it without the wizard. Uh, if you are going to use a wizard, then decide, in this case, I want to get the values from a table. And the table that I want to select would be the orders table. So I'll scroll down to find that. And I'll select the value from the available fields, which should be the payment type. And I don't want to have a sorting option. So I'll go to next and... This is the list. I don't want to save this, so I'll finish. And now I need to locate this control in a suitable place on the form. And tweak it a little bit so that the layout matches the other controls. To manually add the control, select the combo box control from the controls group and place it on the form. And then apply the control properties. The combo box is a powerful control in your form, but can be complex when it comes to setting the properties just right. Let's now open the property sheet to take a look at a few key properties and how they impact your drop down list box. I will first change the caption on the label to payment method and I will go to the actual control and the da data tab. Here's the control source property. The control source property is a field in the table to and from which the control saves and loads the data to the data source. Now the control source is based on the payment type field in the orders table. Look at the payment type field and that's from where the data comes into the control source. Now the row source is a source of the data displayed on the list. Because a combo box can support multiple columns, you can have a, the combo box display related data from another table without basing your form in a query that joins the tables. Here's the row source. Here in this form, the row source is a value list to show credit, card, cash, or check. I'll select the value list. 
the limit the list right now says no and I want to change that to yes make sure to keep the allow value list edits to yes if for some reason you don't want users to make changes to the values in the drop down list then you can set it to no say you first added a list box control but later decided that there isn't enough room on the form for a list box just select the control click change to and click on combo box and access changes the list box into a combo box remember that we have just seen one type of control option that you can add to your access forms you can add from many others in this gallery and also customize the controls to meet your user needs for example if a user tries to enter a value that is not in a drop-down list you can provide a custom message to guide them but that would be another topic now I hope you will try out some of the other control options to make your form more unique and efficient.